what is the hybridization of this carbon? It's sp3. This carbon is sp3 because it's attached to three atoms and has a lone pair. So that gives 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 hybridized orbitals. What is the hybridization of this carbon? This is sp2. Why is it sp2, even though it looks a lot like this carbon? Because of the exception to the rule for hybridization that we've learned earlier. This carbon up here is sp2, and this carbon has a lone pair. If you have a lone pair and you're connected to an sp2 atom, you're also sp2. So this carbon was sp3, but this one is sp2. That's the exception that we learned about earlier. Now, earlier when we learned about this exception, I didn't explain why the exception exists. I just asked you to take it on faith and to memorize it. But now, at this point in the videos, we're trying to get a deeper understanding of all these rules and try as, much, as best we can to understand why they work. Well, now we can start to understand why we have this exception. So, what we have to ask is, why does this carbon want to be sp2 hybridized? And the reason is because that allows us to have resonance and conjugation. When this is sp2 hybridized, we get conjugation. If this was sp3, we wouldn't get conjugation. So let's go through the logic of that. Just suppose for a second that this carbon was sp3 hybridized. It's not, but just suppose for a second this is sp3 hybridized. Well, then would this molecule be conjugated? Well, no, it wouldn't. Because remember that when you're sp3 hybridized, you don't have any p orbitals. There would be no p orbitals here. Um, so we would not have overlap of p orbitals at three or more atoms. We would still have the overlap of the p orbitals in this pi bond, but in order to be conjugated, we need to have a p orbital here as well. So again, if this carbon were sp3 hybridized, it would not have any p orbitals, so this would not be conjugated. That's the reason why it prefers to break the normal rule and be sp2 hybridized. If this carbon is sp2 hybridized, it does have a p orbital. It puts its lone pair into p orbital, and then the molecule is conjugated, because we have side-to-side -side overlap of the p orbital here, here, and here. All right, so now again, we're understanding the exception that I introduced, uh, that I introduced um, earlier. This carbon is going to break the rule and uh, be sp2 hybridized, so it can have a p orbital, so it can be conjugated with these other p orbitals um, over here. So why doesn't this carbon want to be sp2 hybridized? And the reason is that that still wouldn't allow it to be conjugated. It wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it any good. Even if this were sp2 hybridized, let's just imagine it's sp2 hybridized for a second. Even if this carbon were sp2 hybridized, well then it would have a p orbital that it can put its lone pair in, but it wouldn't get any overlap, side to side overlap of the p orbitals because there's no p orbital over here. This carbon over here is an sp3 hybridized atom. It doesn't have any p orbitals. So again, it doesn't do, it wouldn't do this carbon any good to be sp2 hybridized. It wouldn't do it any good to have a p orbital because there would be nothing for the p orbital to overlap with on this carbon over here. That's why again, in reality, this carbon is actually sp3, not sp2. But this carbon is adjacent to an sp2 hybridized atom. Um, so it does have a p orbital over here that can overlap with if it only becomes sp2 itself. And that explains why this is going to take the sp2 hybridization. All right, so now we can understand uh, that exception that we were talking about. Um, if you have a lone pair and you're connected to an sp2 hybridized atom, then you have the potential to have side-to-side -side overlap of those p orbitals as long as you also have a p orbital. So in that case, you're going to be sp2 to allow that conjugation or resonance. Okay, hopefully that was clear, and hopefully now we have an idea of why that exception kicks into the rule. Um, atoms, uh, this type of atom is going to be sp3, 
but when it has the potential to get uh, to, for the molecule to be conjugated, it becomes sp2 so that the molecule can be conjugated.